Yeah. yeah. Interesting scenario that people don't know, and I just recently found out about this, man, was that Easy e wanted to sign the South Central Cartel wow. right before he died. Yeah, and that my cousin, Michelle A., that's my cousin. That's me and Pride and Young Pride's first cousin. That's our blood cousin. You know, a lot of people don't know that either. So when she was signed to Easy, uh, and probably before her album came out, when she, I think it happened right around the time when she was doing the Wrecking Crew song, Turn Off the Lights. I was over her house uh, off of Normandy in 36, visiting her, and uh, she said, oh, I want to take you to meet Easy. I think Easy will like you, you know, so... I had I had opportunities to do different things, but you know, like I told, I said I don't, I'm solid with my with, with my position and my crew, so I didn't take that avenue. But you know, it was nice to know, you know, that Easy E was considering signing us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you could have actually been on Ruthless right around the same time, um, you know, the uh, Above the Law signed or something. Michelle A taking right, over there. Right. What was your first impression of Easy E, man? I met Easy E for the first time at uh, it was the first summer jam because we were in a summer jam with you know J D the Brat, Queen Latifah, Tretch, uh, it was uh, uh, Easy E, Bone Thugs. We was all in the first summer jam together, and I met Easy E backstage. And Easy E, he he's just, he was just a quiet guy. He wasn't too vocal. He was just quiet. And when I saw him, I I walk up and I introduce myself. And he shook his head. He was like, ride, ride, ride. Nice to meet you. And then after that, he just channeled in on the show. You know, he just sit, stood there and just watched the show. I stood by him for a, a few minutes, and, you know, then I walked off. But, you know, from what I can see about Eazy-E, uh, he was just, you know, a guy that just kind of mind his own, you know, and, 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 and always trying to be solid with the people that he deal with, you know. And so that's what I thought of Eazy-E, you know. I yeah. really never had the chance to really, you know, speak in depth with him or really, you know, sit down with him and talk or have a talk sh- session with him. But from what I see, that he was just a real cool guy, real laid back. And and he wanted uh, to sign you uh, right before he passed. Uh, that would have been huge. Yeah, it would have been huge. Man. I think, I think, I think. Uh, that would have been more of a of a good thing for South Central Cartel, not discrediting Def Jam and and Russell. I, man, hey, I, I I I have nothing but love for Russell, you know, and the Def Jam family. Uh, but to be on Ruthless and that's a West Coast label, man, come on, you know, yeah. I think that would have been big. I think that would have been big. And plus, Easy E knew exactly what to do with our type of music. Russell and them actually had to figure it out. You know what I mean? Cause they, that, we was the first gangster group on the, on the label. So they had to really figure it out. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Like, comment, share. Also go up to UGSForLife.com, download the entire archive, and check out new episodes on Apple Podcasts and Blog Talk Radio.